वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग विजुअलाइजेशन चैनल नाउ प्रॉब्लम नंबर 29 इट इज ए एक्सागनल पिरामिड बेस साइड 25 एंड एक्सिस लेंथ 65 एम एम लॉन्ग रेस्टिंग ऑन इट्स बेस ऑन एच पी विथ वन ऑफ इट्स बेस एडजेस पैरल टू वी पी इट इज कट बाई ए सेक्शन प्लेन एट ए डिस्टेंस ऑफ एट एम एम फ्रॉम द एक्सिस टू वर्ड्स राइट साइड ट्रा द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द लेफ्ट पार्ट ऑफ द पिरामिड फर्स्ट एल बी कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ए हेक्सागन ईयर of dimension 25 and axis length 65 then after that i am going to cut it okay so first uh, we have to construct a hexagon to construct the hexagonal pyramid first we have to construct a hexagon of dimension 25 i'll be drawing now xy line okay xy line and writing vp hp since it is a first quadrant write xy write vp hp ओके ना अल बी कंस्ट्रक्टिंग ए हेक्सागन ऑफ डायमेंशन ट्वेंटी फाइव यूजिंग सर्कल मेथड ओके फर्स्ट आई बी ड्राइंग ए सर्कल बाई टेकिंग ए रेडियस ऑफ ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके सर्कल मेथड इज ईजीयर कंपेर टू द एंगल मेथड सो दैट्स वाई एम डूइंग द हेक्सागन यूजिंग सर्कल मेथड हियर सो ड्रॉ द सर्कल ऑफ डायमेंशन ट्वेंटी फाइव ओके Now, from the center point, I uh, point of it, I'll be drawing one horizontal line since uh, we want to make uh, that it just parallel to the VP. Okay, that means here it will be resting with the corner position. Okay, so since I have measured already 25 mm from the compass, I'm going to cut it from that reference point on both sides. Continue cutting the arc. okay now join all these uh, cut points using a straight line with the help of the scale join all these points to get the hexagon Okay, hexagon. It is uh, constructed. You can give the namings A, B, C, D, E, F. Show the dimension for one side. So I'll be showing for the bottom edge here. The dimension of twenty-five mm. Okay. This is the center of the axis. O, O, one. and uh, here since it is a pyramid we have to draw the inside line slant edge lines okay for pyramid the inside line should be thick here okay for the case of uh, prism it should be thin lines i'll be drawing the thick lines inside of the pyramid okay with the help of the scale i'm drawing the thick lines here that is slant edges now draw the front view by projecting it now i'll be erasing that circle now circle is not required right we have constructed a hexagon so remove that circle erase it make sure after constructing hexagon you erase that circle okay otherwise they'll be considering a different thing make sure you erase it before you proceed so draw the projection lines to draw the front beam here axis length it is 65 mm draw an axis for a length of 65 mm and draw a triangle so the front beam of a pyramid it is a triangle so we'll be constructing okay 
construct the base of the pyramid okay now so we can show the dimension so dimension here it is 65 mm mention the dimension here okay So it is cut by a vertical section plane at a distance of 8 mm from the axis. Okay, so from the axis, uh, parallelly we have to draw the section plane here. So from the axis, I'll be drawing a line for a distance of 8 mm. Okay, now draw the section plane vertical line. So the vertical line should be drawn. It should be intersecting both top and front view. Can give the cut point name as one, two, three, four, five. Can give it in the same way we should mention for the front view also. I'll write the naming of the base here. can see we have uh, mentioned the cut points here say from 1 2 3 4 5 in the same way we mentioned in the above diagram one it is cutting in between b and c two exactly on the slant edge of oc and three on od and four on oe okay and five exactly falling at the bottom end okay now can show the dimension so it is uh, drawn at exactly 8 mm distance okay now here uh, the slant edge would would it is parallel to the vp plane so we can consider that would as slant edge okay now i'm darking the cut part okay so since it is mentioned in the question we should be darking that the cut part okay cut portion we have to highlight it here so measure the slant edge length here slanted OD slanted OG parallel to parallel to VP parallel to XY here or VP you can say so that means we can consider this OD edge okay OD edge as slanted length so it is having a dimension of 69 mm okay measure exactly and write down the same thing this is your slant edge length so we'll be drawing this slant edge length first here of dimension 69 mm okay so you can mention the dimension dimension it is 69 mm So take the compass and measure the 69 slanted length and draw an arc. You have to draw a curve here. Okay, now we have to measure that uh, hexagonal 25 base head length and we have to cut the arcs here. Okay, measure BC length. The BC length here it is 25. cut the arcs 
Totally six hours we have to cut since it is a hexagonal pyramid. We have to cut totally six arcs. You can mention the naming now A, B, C, D, E, F, A. Okay, now we have to connect all these uh, mark points with the straight line to the reference of O with the help of the scale. So connect all these points. Hit the like button and subscribe for the channel and share it to maximum students so that they can be benefited. Now join the base edges with the straight line. Okay, now we have to mention the cut points here. Here uh, it is cutting from B, uh, C and C, D, E, this part, right side part it is cutted. We have to show the development of the left part here. You can see here after uh, in between B and C we have the point number 1. That is from C I am going to measure the uh, point number 1 length with the help of the compass. Take compass measure from C to 1. So cut the arc. That is your point number 1. Mention as 1 here. Now point number 2. Point number 2. So this point number 2 exactly falling on a slant rate is at a height. Okay, some height it is falling. So I'll be projecting these uh, points on a slant rate. I'm mentioning this as 2 and 4 2 and 4 on the same uh, point and a slant edge length okay now measure the length from O dash to 2 okay we have to measure the length exactly on a slant edge okay remember it so and mark this uh, point on C here because it is cutting on a slant edge of O C so mention 2 on a OC edge and then point number 3. Point number 3 it is falling on a vertical edge of OD. Cut the arc. This is point 3. Now point uh, 4. Okay point 4. Falling on a vertical edge of OE. And then point number 5 exactly. Falling at a distance from E and as at the base here okay you can measure from phi to e here from the top view and cut the arc that is your point number phi now connect all these points say from 1 to 2 2 to 3 3 4 to 5 join it with the help of the scale here straight line connect all the points Then 4 to 5 you can join. Now finally we can draw the, the cut part of it. We have to make sure it should be darker one. Okay.
okay so this completes the problem thank you for watching the video thank you all